I'm Katie. I'm super excited to chat with you today. I know you guys are partners in crime. You're both coming from the same place. So just talk to me a little bit about having a friendship already as you head into a new team. I mean, you must be pretty excited to, to have each other to make this transition with. When do you want to answer with the better English? <laughs> okay, I'll start for everyone's sake. Uh, no, but just like I said, though, I come into a, come to a new team uh, for both me and Nudivar. It's uh, first time we only play for the Blue Jackets. So I think just to have that, uh, that a guy that goes with you, goes through the same stuff and sees the organization uh, for the first time as well. I think that's it's nice to have that comfort. But I mean, obviously, wherever you go, I bet there's great guys in the Panthers and uh, both folks are excited to move there and play for the team. So of course, it's nice to have each other, but we also look look forward to meeting new guys in the team. Hundred percent. What about you, Marcus? I mean, it's so so much easier, I think, when you have friends right away in there. And uh, of course, I can't wait to see the other guys too. Like uh, me and Wendy, we we don't want to be just together. It's uh, it's always a big group. So, so uh, yeah, I think we're excited. So you don't want to have to spend too much time with Alex, is what you're saying. Mm, everything has a limit, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. Um, well, I got to be honest. One of the reasons that I wanted to get both of you guys together is because other than both playing for Columbus, you have something else that I found really interesting in common, which is that you both have wiener dogs. And I just think that's really awesome. I actually, my family has two as well. So I thought that was unique. You don't necessarily see that many guys around the league that have that dog. It's it's a little bit more of a unique dog. So can you tell me, one, who got theirs first and what was the reasoning behind it? And, and obviously we want to know if they're friends and stuff. I think uh, Winnie got the dog first. And uh, we, <laughs> me and my girlfriend, we were thinking about getting, getting E2 for a while. And uh, then we saw a picture from uh, Winnie and they had a dog and we had a dog coming. And I think Winnie won that race. We got Lexi first, but at the end of the day, I think we sent a picture and it's like, oh, this is our dog, uh, the dogs, and we're so excited. And then, like, the next minute, they're like, oh, this is our dog coming, and this is, like, an identical one. So it's kind of ironic how we got it at the same time. We went through it all together. At the end of the day, uh, I think it made it a hell of a lot easier, too, just to have someone, like, see how – because, obviously, they're, they're a little special. They're a little, like, quirky <laughs> and weird. But uh, it's nice to see that it's not only Lexi, that E2 is basically the same. So I like it. And so, all right, so you said Lexi. So yours is a girl, and Lexi's her name? Yes, Lexi. How'd you come up with that? Uh, I don't know. We have a list for 20 names or something. So I think we kind of, uh, we're just looking at all of it. But I think when we finally got her, you know, it's one of those moments where like, okay, what's her name? And then uh, I think that's, that's what it came down to. And I mean, right now it's, uh, uh, what is it? Two and a half years ago, but it feels like it was yesterday we got her. But it's, I mean... I feel speaking for Nudovar as well, used to having a dog is the best best thing that ever happened so far. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Marcus, what about you? E2 is the name, correct? It's a boy or a girl? Girl. Okay. So what's the, I mean, obviously that's a more unconventional name. Does that mean something to, you know, in Finnish or? No, it's just a, uh, it's just a Finnish name. Okay. It's like uh, real like aggressive name, like she knows where she stands and stuff like that. So, you know, like she's a boss. <laughs> she's a boss. So that's a good name she has, I think. I like it. Well, anyone that has wiener dogs or knows them knows that they are 100% in charge and the total boss. So hearing that that's the reasoning why makes a lot of sense. And I'm a big fan of it. All right, so Wenberg, actually, uh, you just got engaged. So Alex, tell me a little bit about that. I mean, that's pretty exciting. I know it was, what, like about a month or two ago. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that and, and where, where you popped the question? Yeah, for sure. Uh, like I said, it's a month ago or something, but uh, uh, super excited. Uh, I mean, I've been planning it, and it's, it's just uh, it's one of those things where you want it to be perfect, and you get nervous, and you want it to, uh, to be special <laughs> for her, but... I did it, uh, what we really like to do is hiking. So where we were hiking, uh, we went up to one of the highest mountains and uh, I proposed up there. So I think it turned out pretty good. And 
I mean, obviously, I feel like myself, I even blacked out when it happened because of all the adrenaline and stuff. But uh, what I heard, it was beautiful from her. So, <laughs> but uh, other than that, it, it, it's great. But it's it's so funny how life works too. I got engaged, and then two days after, it was all these free agency things. So bubble up with emotions uh, obviously it's the best feeling in the world but then the next day you're like okay we're heading somewhere new than columbus and it's just been so this month right now when you're kind of like took a took a minute just to think about it and like kind of like uh, taking it all in that you're engaged it's it's uh, it's an unbelievable feeling for sure so you kind of had to stop and catch your breath you had quite a lot going on but is she excited yeah. the idea of florida yeah, for sure. And, and that's the thing, like it's uh, obviously the engagement we were celebrating and all of a sudden we kind of have to pause the engagement celebration, I would say, and then like have to figure out where to go. But I mean, obviously, Florida, it seems like a great place. Uh, obviously, it's it's not a bad place to live at, but also with the organization and all. And like I said, for, for my fiance as well, to have uh, a new Devara's girl coming there as well to have some comfort. So Overall, this month has been, it's been a lot of things, but it's been a lot of good things. So we're super excited about it. That's awesome. And Marcus, speaking of you and your girlfriend, I noticed for Halloween, you guys had a pretty unique costume. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about what that was? And, and you guys went pretty all out. Are you big fans of Halloween? Uh, I think we started being big fans of Halloween when we moved to uh, America and uh, spent it first Halloween there. So we actually saw like how big it, big it is overseas. So uh, yeah, Jenna likes to do that stuff and uh, I'll just go with it and uh, <laughs> I try to enjoy it. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's fun. And uh, first time we had it, we had it in here right now. So yeah, well, what, was was what was the costume? And I might just not know it. Maybe is it from a show or a movie or were you both, like, was it, were you both different things? Uh Jenna had a just a normal grandma. Okay. Just a, maybe a little bit funnier grandma, but uh, uh, yeah, I was just uh, <clears throat> artist, Finnish artist. He's uh, he's uh, pretty big in here, so and okay. he has an ego of his own, so it's uh, it was uh, kind of funny, funny for I me. Like, well, I wasn't sure because for a second she kind of looked like the Queen of England, and so I yeah. didn't. Maybe there was a theme or a show going on, but I love it. That's great. Um, Alex, okay, I know you guys are probably thinking I've been creeping on your social, but this is what fans want to hear about. So I noticed that you play the guitar, and I feel like that's pretty unique. We don't have very many musicians on our team, so you may have to take over in that capacity. But can you tell me a little bit about your guitar skills and then yeah, what music you like? I mean, I wouldn't say there's a lot of skills. There's a lot of uh, fun and, uh, I mean, hours playing by myself, but I wouldn't say I would go public because I'm not there yet at all. So <laughs> it, it's a great hobby of mine. I, I do it a lot and I really enjoy music. But uh, you know what? It's it's one of those things that kind of like helps me relax and do something else. But uh, I kind of like it to stay that way. I'm not looking to become a, a next pop artist or acoustic guy. So <laughs> uh it, it's just something i really enjoy and like i said i've been doing it for i don't know 10 15 years and it just helps me helps me to relax and i like music like i said all kinds of music if it's like the old school one if it's rock if it's uh uh the new um more kind of like uh dance music edm or what it is and uh, it's just it's just a big interest for me so do you play just acoustic or do you do any other guitar as well no, just the acoustic ones. I kind of, uh, it's one of those when you have it at home, it's just simple to like play it. And uh, I mean, I try to play a little bit of a piano as well, but it's just right now, it's just like you start playing and then it takes forever to learn a new song. And it's just like, no, you just give up on it and go back to whatever you know. So, Well, I'd say 10 to 15 years is a pretty impressive amount, but we'll, we'll take your word that you're not going public yet, but maybe... In the next few years, we'll get at least a little internal uh, internal band going for you to to head up. Yeah, yeah. But to back to back cool. me up, there's no lessons behind it. It's just all me and myself and I. So that's why I wouldn't say I should brag about it. It's just the side you like a side thing to do, right? Exactly. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, Marcus, talking about hobbies. You have a pretty cool hobby that we've heard about a little bit throughout our time, you know, talking to you since you got you uh, have joined the Panthers. But 
you have a horse that you race and your family, you know, owns and races. So that's pretty cool. You know, there's very few guys I think around the league that can say that they actually are affiliated and owning a, a race horse. So uh, Marcus, can you tell me a little bit about your horse? I know the name is pretty cool too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a <clears throat> kind of new hobby, hobby for me. And uh, I think my sister is the main character here. So she says, what are we going to do? And uh, she's the coach. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's fun to be with those, uh, with those horses. And, uh, I think they're kind of like dogs. I don't know. They're nice and they just mean nice to you and they're a little bit bigger, I think. So, uh, so, uh, yeah, it's been really cool to see them race and, uh, develop and, uh, grow, grow as a, as a horse. So the name is too macho for you. That's pretty awesome. Can you tell us who came up with that and what the story is? I think it was uh, the guy who raised raised the horse and uh, gave birth. Like uh, all the stuff. I don't know. I don't like to talk horse things in uh, English because I don't know the words. But okay. I think you can get it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but they gave the name. And um, yeah, we just have to go with it. And we thought about it. it was it was amazing so kind of like it yeah it's a pretty good name to end up with uh and i know that you know i read an article that said that you know when he was going to start racing soon so uh so how, how has that gone uh yeah he's been uh he's been top three almost for every race but not not any wins yet and um yeah i think he's he's coming coming from there and uh yeah we're really excited for the oh all the next races, what's going to come. And uh, uh, he looks good and everybody's saying like, everything's going to be going to be better and uh, practice, practice and practice. And I think that's, <laughs> that's the key for everything. Absolutely. And I know you may have heard this from other people who have spoken to you or interviewed you, but coach Q is a huge fan of horse racing. So it's probably going to be kind of neat for you to have someone else to talk about it with. That's really into it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, with the coach, it's, uh, you never know how it's going to go, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's cool to, that somebody else has a horse too. All right, guys. Well, I kind of asked you your individual questions, but I want to just kind of give us some more general ones just to wrap things up here. But uh, we've talked a little bit about hobbies, something everyone's always interested in hearing. Uh, you know, I noticed from both your social that you play a little bit of golf. Would you say that one of you is better than the other? Or have you ever golfed together? And... Oh, yeah. Uh, no, do you want to comment this, new or do you want to let me have this? Uh, I think last time we played, I lost a little money to Wenny, <laughs> and I quit in the middle of a round. So uh, <laughs> Wenny's been trying to say to me, like, you, you got to try more and practice more. And, uh, yeah, I've been – I'm really a uh, bad loser, so – so uh, well, this is what happened last time. So I think uh, when it's uh, way better for me. So yeah, so that's the thing. I mean, obviously, uh, it's so much fun playing golf. But all of a sudden, he's like, "I'm done after nine holes. I'm not playing." And I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> see." Ya. And then next time, it's like, "Oh, I'm super excited!" And then nine holes again, it's like, "No, I'm done." So that's pretty much. <laughs> I would say that sums up his uh, golf career right now. Oh boy! So it sounds like. Uh... Sounds like maybe one of you has a little bit of an advantage, but but it, it, it's it's for fun, right? I mean, if you guys had to get out and do another sport, would that be your go-to? Or Marcus, is there another sport outside of hockey that you actually enjoy playing, you know, in your spare time? Mm, not really. I like floorball and uh, soccer and stuff like that. But uh, I think hockey is the main thing for me. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Alex? Anything else? Any other uh, athletic hobbies? Uh, I mean, I would say I, I play golf. Golf a lot. That's a big into mine. Especially a way to hang out with friends and uh, my family golf a lot too. So I just spend time with them as well. So that that's something I, I really enjoyed. And uh, which is, uh, I don't know, it's it's kind of a, uh, kind of like pickleball thing. So that's something that really has been coming to. Last couple of years here in Sweden, which is really, really fun. So it's something I try to be better at. And I mean, I'll do it right. But it, for me, I just love to do stuff with uh, if it comes to golf, if it's play 
I don't know, like soccer with your friends or if it's playing tennis, whatever it is, I'm, I love to have that active, uh, what is it, lifestyle you would say? Absolutely. Well, kind of uh, talking about the lifestyle that you guys have brings me to my final question, which is, you know, both of you, want, you're from uh, Sweden and, and Marcus from Finland, but we know that Europe, you can go from one place to another and be in a completely different, uh, you know, environment and climate. So for you, Alex, can you just tell me a little bit about what your hometown is like? Because I know you're in Naka, which is near Stockholm. So can you tell me a little bit about what, what, uh, what that is like? I may have butchered the name. Hopefully. Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, uh, I, no, that's totally fine. You nailed it. So, <laughs> but other than that, it's, it's basically, what is it? 10, 15 minutes away from Stockholm. So, I mean, I would say I live, uh, right now it's kind of like, uh, suburban of, uh, Stockholm, which is, I mean, uh, other than that, I mean, I spend most of the time, my friends and, uh, uh, the guys I hang out with most of the time lives in central Stockholm. So I spend a lot of time in the city. I, I, my golf course is like a little bit more outside, uh, uh, east towards the water. So a lot of times it's just going back and forth. Uh, and I mean, for me, it's, it's where I grew up. I've been in the same place, uh, in Sweden for all my life. So, so many friends, memories, and, uh, especially, when like in the summer it's great for you to see all like friends and family at the same spot and like you recognize it from all the years before so awesome and marcus i'm not even sure if i really want to try to pronounce where you're from maybe i'll give it but i i, I i'm gonna need you to help me out so you're from is it olu that's good that's really olu. good olu olu all right i'm pretty proud of myself all right <laughs> can you tell me a little bit about what what Olu was like, I looked it up on the map. It looks like you're pretty close to the water. So what's what's it like up there? Yeah, it's a really cool little place. Uh, I'm still waiting for Wendy to come here and see the place. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a small city. And uh, I remember I came over the Columbus and uh, the guys were saying I'm a hillbilly. The other <laughs> Finnish guys. So uh, yeah, it's a small city and uh, it's a lot of country and Okay. I mean, you, you can see the reindeer is almost here and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we're uh, pretty north, north right here. So, uh, yeah, you should talk about it being snow. There. What is it, the two weeks or thing? It was covered in snow, which is like, I'm in Sweden where it's no snow at all. So, it's kind of ironic how we're close to each other, but it's like two different worlds for sure. Yeah. What is it? A one hour flight? Yeah. 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 It was uh, snowy here for a week. Or two weeks, I don't know, but it's uh, it's been pretty cold ever since and dark. So uh, yeah, I wish I could be in Stockholm for a couple of days to get some <laughs> fun at least. Well, maybe you have to go and visit him since he won't come and see you apparently. But that's pretty cool that it sounds like you know you're you're definitely not a city guy. It's very country up there. I, is there a lot of farmland, or is it really more just like rural and just or like you know, is it mountainous or is it more flat? It's, uh, I think it's, how do I say, it? it's full of forest. Like okay, you, yeah. Whenever you go, like five, um, maybe five minutes outside of town, you can see almost everywhere is trees and forest wow. and nature is really close. So I kind of like it. It's, it calms you down and uh, yeah, it feels like, feels like home. Well, it sounds like both of you are going to be going to a pretty different environment again now that you're coming to Florida. And I mean, I don't know, are either of you big fishermen? Because that's something the guys down here love doing. Wendy, you want to go? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a big fisher, but obviously you've seen, you've seen a lot about it. And I always get super excited for example oh i want to go again. never been like uh, a thing I've, I've been doing in the past but obviously when, when we move down there i would definitely try it out and see if i like it or not so it's it's something to look forward to for sure yeah i mean we got some pretty good ones especially if you go out deep sea marcus how about you any any fishing in your background uh yeah a little bit more a little bit more we like to go uh with the friends and family we usually go to the lake house and um uh, there's no electricity, no, you have to carry the water and then you go fishing and stuff like that. So uh, it's kind of weekend, you decide, it's kind of vacation where you go fishing, but uh, 
I was fishing in Tampa Bay for once and uh, there was fish everywhere. So it was kind of weird. Like here you had to fish for six hours to see two to <laughs> or something like that. So it's, uh, it's so much different. Yeah, it certainly is. You could be out on a boat here in Florida and have an entire school of marlin around you or, or of dolphin around you. Uh, mahi, mahi. There's some great stuff. And the food is really good, too, because then you catch it, you get to bring it back, and someone will cook it up for you right at the dock. So you guys will definitely have to try that. But you weren't kidding. If you're carrying your own water, you really have that little bit of hillbilly uh, in you. I, I like it. That's, that's a pretty awesome uh, awesome. Uh, trait to, to, to have. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I don't want to take too much more of your time, but I really, really appreciate you chatting with me. You're both really fun. And I know we're super excited to have you coming down and joining this Panthers team and bringing all of your horse racing and hillbilly fishing and guitar playing skills. Just kidding, Alex. But thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And, uh, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.